All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, also known as the apostles and elders of Israel. Peace and blessings to the whole for elect of Israel, which also consists of the great multitude, the one third of men, women, and children. All right, this is a quick sit down dealing with who the Lord would choose, who he who who he who he who uh <laughs> who he would deliver, you know, and also uh, I guess this can be a part two of. You know, uh, if the Jewish are the real Jews, or if the real Jews are in the land of Israel, so called, you know, uh, basically the beginning of the scroll, you know, I'm just going to read it. It says, For the Lord, for the Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Okay, so stop. Now, the, the Most High said that he, he was going to set Israel in their own land. Not by no damn government document. You know, the Balfour Declaration that was signed in uh, 1948, 1949. You know, if, if they're the real Jews, why, uh, why did they have to have a document signed? saying that they can have the land of Israel because they're not the real Jews, you know. <laughs> and it says, and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, you know. So how in the hell are these people the real Jews? They're not, you know. And the strangers too, uh, it's like it's like the Gentiles, you know, like the actual Gentiles, like the, the Israelite foreigners, you know. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, you know, which are these other nations, you know. Esau, the so-called white man, uh, the Africans, the Arabs, the Asians, you know, uh, the Japanese, Chinese, they go, they're all going into slavery, you know, and they're going to be servants and handmaids in our land, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, you know, so um, how in the hell... Or the so-called Jews in land, how how were they uh, under slavery? They weren't under no damn slavery, you know. Not even when uh, uh, Hitler was killing them off. Hitler was killing off, killing them off because they was claiming a Negro religion, so-called. And that's what Hitler said. Hitler also even said that America had stolen the Jews. You know, the Most High's jewels. And what time time life a timeless magazine? Look it up, do your own research, you know. And it shall come to pass in that day, well in the yeah, in the day that the Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage where that was made to serve. So the Lord said he's going to uh, give us rest from sorrow and from fear, that fear. <sighs> so like you. So it says from that fear, what is one fear that so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans fear today? Would be the fucking police. You know, uh, I mean, even if you don't fear them, your heart and shit, you know, Start speeding up when they grab behind you when you hear sirens or something like that. You know, you're like a shaking leaf. You know. That that is a sign of fear. You know, you or you be like, damn. Uh I hope this motherfucker, you know, this, this goddamn cop. You know. 
it's, it's a slight sign of fear and, and the hard bondage of people here picking cotton down in Jamaica, Haiti, wherever on sugar plantations, you know. And uh, the precept you can read to this too is Revelations uh, 13. I believe it's 13 to 10, probably. Yeah, 13 to 10, I believe. And I'm about to get that. Just bear with me real second. Real quick. Real quick. Revelations, it says at verse 9 to 10, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The so called white man, he kills with the sword. You know, he kills uh, with his gun. That's the modern day sword today. It's the gun. And also, too, he's, he's killing us uh, doing with foods. You know, the water we drink, the air we breathe. You know, he's killing us physically and spiritually. But this is talking about, you know, uh, physical, too. But but spiritually, our people are already you know they are dead. They believe in uh, all these doctrines, you know, uh, all these religions. When you a Hebrew, when you find out that you're a Hebrew Israelite, this is not no uh, religion. This is a nationality, you know. This is a bloodline nationality. You know, you can't be Jewish. You know, I S H is a suffix. You know, and uh, Israeli, where does it say Israeli in the Bible? Hmm. Where does it say Israeli? You don't see me making fun of uh, the fucking uh, Israeli in the Bible. Because it's not there, that shit is made up. What does Israeli mean? Because has anyone ever asked them that? What does Israel mean? You know, Israel is Yashar Allah. Yah, He, Shar, Prince, Allah, power. You know, Allah is where you uh, is where you get God from. Allah Hayyam, powers, the angels. Yahweh Shai, the angels, or the angels. You know, Allah, God, you know, power. Allah Hayyam, powers, you know. So you, you're not gonna find uh, Israeli in a good example. You have Romans, Romans nine, nine and four, who are Israelites, Israelites, not Israelis, to whom pertained the adoption and the glory and the covenants. And the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises. All right? Now, Israelis. Shalom and double honors to the, uh, to, to the 144,000. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I give honors, you know, to the brothers. But double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, peace and blessings to the sincere brothers. You know, the one in 44,000, one third, I believe, on the gospel of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Shalom.